hey guys welcome back to a new video today i'm with the new peugeot 208 allure pack and in this video i'll make the full review interior exterior at the end of this video you will find out everything about the new 208 allure pack why i choose to review this car i already reviewed the gt pack and also the active pack that it's entry level and top end version now i choose to to review the allure pack because it's the middle range version so in this video you will find out what is the price what is the quality of the middle range version of peugeot 208 before we go forward if you are in switzerland around switzerland guys i'm right here at gallica auto in Belak. i will leave the link in the description to check it out if you want to and before we go forward i want to give you the technical data and then we will go forward exterior interior i will show you everything about the car so first of all i want to tell you that i have with me the 1.2 liter petrol engine pure tech 100 100 come from 100 horsepower allure pack so allure pack is kind of the middle range version the basis price the starting price is 26,600 francs with all those options included right here we will talk about that but the car have also a few extra options as you can see down here in this area and those are pack driving assistant plus that mean adaptive cruise control and all that safety features it has metallic color 680 it has this repair kit 20 francs heating seats on the front seats uh, 300 francs and it has also navigation system peugeot connect that mean you can use android auto and apple carplay on the car i will show you also later and i have also a separate video about how to connect android auto to uh, peugeot multimedia system so check out on my channel now with all this option included the price will be 28 8,750 francs but here at Gallica Auto you have a discount 850 francs so the final price will be 27 900 francs i will add the price in dollar as well to make an idea so yeah those are the most important information the color of the car by the way it's gray or tense if you ask me many people ask the color so i just want to add this in the video as well then the car have 1284 kilograms 5.8 liters is the estimated consumption 131 co2 grams it's in b class efficient class just to keep in mind those information now i want to go a little bit deeper and give you some extra details about the car so as i said 1.2 liter pure tech petrol engine three cylinders in line also the car is connected with an eight speed automatic transmission this is classic transmission for peugeot and it's wonderful it's work like a charm guys check out the test drive you will see there i talk a little bit more the trunk space 265 liters if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1106 liters it's quite good for the size of the car it's relatively more than perfect i should say also the fuel tank capacity 44 liters the car come with independent mcpherson suspension on the front and elastic beam semi-independent on the rear and also on this model that it's with me we have 16 inch rims they are just perfect for the car perfect in terms of economy in terms of uh, suspension and comfort and in terms of good looking anyway those are the most important information about the car let's go outside let's review the car on the exterior then we will go inside and we will review also the interior of the car so yeah in the end we will make also the conclusion and i will give it the rating so let's do it guys all right guys let's start with the key this is the key pretty classic peugeot use this key for all models no matter if it's 3008 2008 or peugeot 208 they use the same key what you can do with the key turn on the lights that's super useful as you can see right here turn it on and off it's very useful in the night time and then what you can do also it's lock the car and unlock the car as you can see this model here uh, allure pack come also with electric folding mirrors and this is awesome uh, great this is what you can do with the key now guys let me turn on the lights and then we will review a little bit the exterior in my opinion this is the most beautiful uh, car in this class it has lovely design it's modern it's nice it has nice lines and to be honest uh, it kind of kill all other cars in this class in terms of exterior design and even though it doesn't come with those top end led lights from peugeot that you can get it on gt pack for example they still look good in my opinion and you have full led lights the only thing that is not led light is the turning signals in the front here and the fog lamps on the rear but other than that 
everything is LED. Beautiful lines, beautiful design. Probably you already see the car in my other videos. And also, no matter what color you choose for this uh, Peugeot 208, it looks really, really good. That's my opinion. I love the way they combine this glossy plastic on the car with the color. I like the way they put the letters Peugeot. Also look at the roof spoiler. It looks incredible, incredible sporty and sexy. I love the lines. The radio antenna, although I will change it, I don't know why they chose to have this long antenna like old ages, but it's still okay, it's still fine, but it was, was really nicer to have some kind of glossy plastic little antenna there. Tinted windows look also wonderful on the car, here on the back and also on the side of the doors. Looking at the lights here, we have three dimensional uh, LED lights on the tail lights, the turning signals, and you can see how beautiful they look integrated right there. Nice design, it's just, it's just they are just one of the most beautiful guys. I don't know if you can see it on the camera so well, but they look really well integrated. Even down here, we have LED lights on the number plate. Also the reverse camera is down there. Here is the fog lamp and it's not LED, it's normal halogen light. That's something to keep in mind. We have 208 logo on the side. Other than that, the back design look wonderful with those lines uh, that goes down here on the bumper. Four parking sensors on the rear. In the front, we don't have on this model, the parking sensors, I don't know what is the reason, but they have only on the rear here. Maybe they save some cost, but other than that, again, some glossy plastic on the down part, kind of a diffuser here. They kind of design it quite nice. The exhaust pipes on the right side, normal exhaust pipe there. Uh, also, it's outside. That's a surprise because all the car manufacturers these days try to hide it somewhere under the car. Now on Allure version, it's not like GT pack version. We don't have that plastic to protect this area here, but we still have some kind of lines here that shows it's missing something, but uh, it's just normal, the paint of the car. That's something to keep in mind. Other than that, pretty simple design and clean. Also some lines here, sharp edges. The handles are also awesome, kind of modern and nice integrated in the door. Check out the doors, by the way. The doors quality, it's top notch. No matter which model of the Peugeot you get, you will have wonderful quality on the doors. The same high quality like on the 3008 or 2008. It's awesome, they add a lot of rubbers and quality here on the side. Don't wanna to talk too much about that, but the quality is very, very good. Down here on the down skirt, they also try to extend it a little bit in the exterior and they try to make it a little bit more sexy and sportier. And that's a good thing. Then going here, I don't think here they protect enough. They have to add some kind of more extra plastic here to protect the paint of the car because in time it will get rusty. And yeah, you have to add some, some kind of uh, plastic here to protect this area. But other than that, it's relatively good. I'm not sure if this is aluminum, but I don't think it is. I don't know what is the, the material quality of this uh, right here, because th if this was aluminum, then it's no problem because aluminum cannot rust. But if it's not, then you have to pay attention to this area. Anyway, they put a little bit of plastic, but I don't think it's protect enough, in my opinion, this area right there. Anyway, going in the front, Lovely design. The front of the car, so aggressive. The hood, the lines look incredible, incredible nice. I love those lines here uh, on the hood, even here on the side, 208 logo. It looks aggressive enough and modern. And even the grille here in the front look wonderful. The way they integrated uh, the old Peugeot logo uh, on the new cars will come with a new Peugeot logo. Then we have some chrome insertion here, some air intakes cool down the engine. Here is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features that I show you. It's an optional, uh, they add it here. Other than that, the front bumper look crazy, crazy spectacular. LED lights, tail lights here on the side. LED high beam, low beam, turning signals. It's a normal halogen light, but other than that, it's wonderful. Also the car come with the camera here to read the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features. Also the raining and light sensors are there. So overall, this is the exterior design. I think I almost cover everything, guys. 
The other thing that worth mention is that here on the side is the tank, 44 liters, if I'm not wrong, petrol tank. And here, usually on the GT pack, it comes that GT, or on the electric version, it comes that logo right here. Quite nice, quite nice. A lovely design. Even if you get the cheaper version, this car look good, uh, in my opinion. Talking about the tires, 16 inch rims we have right here. Lovely rims, the design of the rims look lovely. Break this on the rear so you don't have to worry about drums and stuff like that that we see in other cars. Ventilated brake this on the front, also good quality. So in terms of rims, um, they, they are quite, quite nice. Good, now let's see here what it's under the hood, guys. Open the doors. Okay, let me turn off the light. I like it, I like the quality. You hear that when you close the doors, the quality is wonderful. I like how easy it is to open also this hood here. It has a button here in this area, it's super easy to use. And also this hood, it's quite light, not like in other cars, it's light and that's good. They save a lot of, they make economy, they save a lot of weight on the car. Here's the engine, 1.2 liter, pure tech engine, three cylinders in line, 100 horsepower. Here's the liquid uh, for the wipers and the liquid for cooling the engine. The 12 volt battery uh, on the right side, we have the fuse box and yeah, quite nice. Open up, the button is here. Super easy to open it up. It's a manual lift gate. By the way, I take out the protection. I put it there. I don't like this protection. I really uh, don't like it also in my car, uh, but I take it out to show you a little bit better the way it looks. Handles up here to close the the door here, usually it comes that protection, but I take it out. The entrance in the car, it's relatively big, huge, huge entrance. You can see right here, you can fit in there a lot of stuff when you fall down the seats. Uh, here we have some plastic. We have like 20, almost 20 centimeter deepness here. So it's relatively deep. You don't have a flat floor, but it's relatively deep and you can put a lot of stuff. You have some elastics normal bulb light here on the right side some hooks up here also what i noticed no 12 volt port or stuff like that under the floor here you still have a lot of space to put your stuff i think you have space also for a spare tire if you take this out also is repair kit and all that things but it's relatively big space here to put your things so that's good that's not bad if you want to fold it down uh, the downside is that you don't have the middle part like carrying the skis or stuff like that. You have to fold it 60-40, uh, so 60-40. You can do it from here, no time, just like that. And again, keep in mind, you don't have a flat floor, but the, the space is relatively big. Uh, you can put your tires, you can put whatever you want to put here. Um, in my opinion, it's more than enough space uh, to carry your things right there in the back. Going on the side, open the door here. Again, something that I like very much on the design of the Peugeot is that they put the windows here, they extend it a little bit like BMW 1 Series, for example, and that means you have a better view and also you don't have any, any glass here. That means better view and that means a bigger entrance in the car. So you can see the entrance is relatively good for the size of the car, it's relatively big. Now, this is the space, you can check it one more time. Right here also some legs room left. For you, the transmission tunnel is not so big and also you can fit in here a few stuff uh, without any problem. Good, now guys, let me put everything back and we will go inside to continuing with the review. Now let's go here on the door. The design of the door, it's nice. It looks really, really good. I mean, uh, lovely lines and um, I like the way they insert this glossy plastic here. Uh, but other than that, look at this everywhere. It's plastic, except this area here where we have this leather with uh, blue stitches, so I like that. It's important to have soft material here where your arm is resting. Uh, electric windows button here, handle, feel good quality, some storage space and the speaker down here. So that's nice. Design is nice and yeah, it's relatively good for the price of the car and for what this car can offer. Big entrance, you can see here in the back the seats and the space. I have to tell you that the seats have a very good quality, guys. I love those seats from Peugeot. Peugeot used the same seats also on the 2008 
and that's awesome i mean even on the 3008 i see them and the quality it's incredible they are one of my favorite uh, stuff material combination with leather you can see the stitches um, they look just lovely lovely not they look good but they are also super comfortable and they feel like they can last for a longer time here in the middle they leave it flat so that means even a person in the middle can sit here so that's a good thing uh, isofix for two child seats no armrest no cup holders that's a downside uh, for some people but for others it's an advantage because the people that will stay in the middle they will have a better comfort behind the front seat we have leather soft material some storage space down here also we have two usb ports very useful for these days let me close the door oh yeah you hear that very nice sound uh, you have this headrest here in the back the visibility is perfect because they extend this window here. It's very good visibility. The comfort is good here in terms of space. You can see I have like four or five fingers over my head. Enough space, 173 centimeters. I have a handle up here. The quality on the roof, it's good. It's quite good, not bad, really good. Uh, the space on my legs, it's, you can see it right here. Uh, it's relatively good. I can stretch my, my legs under the front seat without any problem. So yeah, it's a good space for the size of the car. It's relatively good. If you want to go in the middle, you can go in the middle uh, relatively easy. You have here the space. You can see the seats in the front are in my driving position. And this one, it's yeah, kind of the same. And you can see the space here. Uh, on my head, I have four fingers here in the middle. Stretch my hand, not completely. And here stretch my hand out completely but you can have three people here for short trips without any problem keep in mind it's much more comfortable here in the middle look at this it's softer and even on my back it's softer because we don't have that armrest you have a better uh, quality of the seats in the middle and that means it's much better than many cars that i review until now uh, to be honest the position in the middle it's, it's relatively good now guys we will go in the front uh, we will talk a little bit about the design, about the dashboard in the front there, multimedia and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, you can see from this angle that the multimedia and the dashboard design, it's beautiful. It's modern, it's futuristic, it's one of the nicest, uh, in my opinion, on the market. Anyway, let's go in the front. Here in the front, big window on the door, great visibility in the mirror. You will see in the moment when we go inside. In terms of quality on the doors and design, it's very similar with... Uh, the back part, beautiful design, but in this area we still have plastic. Here we have some kind of carbon fiber effect that looks lovely and also it's extended on the, on the dashboard. On the dashboard you can see this one, it's, it's soft. Everywhere it's soft on the dashboard, but here on the door it's relatively stronger. But beautiful, glossy plastic handle, uh, the buttons for the windows here, for the electric adjustable mirrors as well. You have storage space, a lot of storage space in the doors. Also, you have the speaker, big speaker here. The entrance is big. The seats, you can see one more time the seat, the driver's seat, the passenger seat in the front. They look lovely and they are super comfy. Also, great side support, side support, sto stuff material here. Look nice. The pedals are normal, no aluminum pedals on this model. Uh, and also here you have the lane assist uh, buttons and also the control for the lights right here. So, great. Let's go inside. Okay. Ah, did you hear the doors? Also, adjustable seats are manually here, guys. You have to adjust it manually, but you have thousand, thousand of adjustments. So that's really awesome. Uh, visibility around the windows, as I said before, it's awesome. Also in the mirror. Uh, very good visibility also in the mirror up here. Also we have a mirror with a little bit of more plastic on the side. It's not so tiny and fancy, but it's, yeah, it's okay. Going forward, very good visibility around the windows. Maybe a little bit of blind spot in the back there, but the car come also with the camera. Here we have soft leather material, but you can adjust this armrest. It's awesome, it's perfect. A lot of space here. I can fit in all my hand almost. Also you can take this out, you can see there huge space i like that i really like it a lot of space down here and armrest it's perfect for the size of the car look at this it's, it's really incredible one of the best armrest in this class now the center console look also futuristic and beautiful uh, you have the different driving modes here you can change it you can see on the screen eco mode 
it's normal mode and sport mode. You have three different driving modes. You can change it from here, electronic handbrake, two cup holders, glossy plastic, the gear shifter here, it's it's really awesome. Peugeot use it on many models. It's it's really incredible. I like it. You press the M, you go to change the gears manual if you want to. You can go like this. If you want to have some fun, also you have the pedals here on the steering wheel so you can you can change the gears manual if you want to this is the parking button and yeah also the car come with a reverse camera let me start the car to show you if you go in reverse you will see the reverse camera it's pretty good not the best resolution ever but it's it's really really uh, useful the way it is anyway going forward guys uh, i like the way they integrate this gear shifter here you have a usb-c USB normal a storage space here for your phone. Also some, some place here where you can put your phone like this. Uh, it's really, really useful these places here. Close it, some storage space. Also down here uh, where you can put your things and also a 12 volt port. Incredible. In terms of storage spaces, it's super, super good. Uh, the, the design is awesome. The glow box in a Peugeot cars, it's incredible. It's like a black hole. It's really deep and big and useful so yeah if you're in europe and not in uk <laughs> and you have the steering wheel on the left side then you will have a big glow box if you are in uk then you will have a small glow box sorry about that guys now here it's soft material soft here everywhere lovely design uh, also you have a uh, speaker on the a pillar you can see here um, that looks nice also here you have some vents also the vents feel good quality as you touch it the start stop engine button is here here we have the controllers for example heating seat here are the shortcuts for the multimedia system you can go in different menus for example you can go to media i have a separate video guys with this multimedia system if you want to see it check it out it's very simple then you can go to climatic system you can turn on and off the climatic system you can go to options it has also many options here uh, then you can go to navigation system navigation is also nice i test it on on a car a few weeks i have a peugeot a few weeks home and it's worked really good the navigation uh, i think it's used tom tom here we have the settings parking sensors traction control and all that settings of the car vehicle settings again parking settings here we have the headlight settings comfort settings and then the safety settings emergency brake speed recommendation driver alert warning traffic sign recognize and all that stuff if you go here to the settings you have the main main settings languages you can change the language you have also system settings right here where you can change the miles kilometer fahrenheit uh, then the system information yeah so all the settings are here then you have the telephone guys and then you have also here the options to connect your android auto and apple car car play uh, phone and apple phone and i have a separate video guys if you want to see how you connect android auto with this multimedia system check out on my channel and the last one is the setting so it's relatively simple uh, it's not the latest this one from peugeot i have a separate video with the latest this a multimedia system from peugeot 2022 check out on my channel you will see it there uh, other than that it's super nice i love those buttons down here they are awesome those those shortcut buttons are incredible useful and they look also gorgeous steering wheel typical for peugeot super light steering wheel you can do it with one finger it's it's so light it's incredible easy to drive those cars uh, and it's small it has the perfect size i really enjoy driving a peugeot car with this steering wheel lovely grip lovely quality you can adjust it up down forward backward the way you want it you can put it all the way down and then you have a good visibility this is my visibility on the front there you have the great visibility on the cockpit good visibility on the multimedia system because it's also tilted to the driver and it's perfect i mean i like it very much here you have the controllers for the volume and voice command and also uh, cockpit and here you have the control for the multimedia system i want to show you also the cockpit we have the three dimensional 3d cockpit there and you can see right now is the navigation but you can put to minimum uh, you have a few options to change it there you can go to minimum you can go to navigation as it was before um, you can go to driving we'll show you the car and all that adaptive cruise control you can go to dials it will show you the speed and dials and i don't know if you can see it but it's a 3d it has a nice 3d effect personal too you can customize it the way you want it 
uh, as well and also personal one and yeah it's it's a nice it's one of the best guys and it's great that it's integrated in this price um, it's it's really really cool i really enjoy it up here on the roof you have the button sos button peugeot infos uh, you have some normal bulb light no leds that's something to keep in mind a yellow light i don't like it too much but yeah it's okay and here we have a big big mirror lovely so i guess that was all guys stop the car and that was the review with the peugeot 208 allure pack version uh, i hope it was useful i hope you get some useful information from here if you like it please like it share it uh, subscribe to the channel i will really appreciate that also thank you very much for watching my video guys i really appreciate thank you thank you thank you also if you want to see the car if you want to buy the car if you are around switzerland check out in bella at Gallicar. Uh, auto i will leave the link in the description my rating for this peugeot 208 from 1 to 10 will be 9.7 this is my rating it's a good rating because the quality the price quality and what they offer it's relatively good it's there in the price lovely car beautiful exterior beautiful interior great comfort and i love the design of the dashboard and the steering wheel as well good that was the video guys stay safe thank you for watching and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys